What's up everyone, welcome to the channel. So I just passed the MS900 Microsoft 365 Fundamentals exam. And in this video, I'm gonna be telling you how I passed my experience with the exam, what resources others could use to pass the exam and that sort of thing. So stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is another one of the Microsoft Fundamentals exams that I've added to the list and it focuses on foundational cloud knowledge, different 365 solutions, as well as ways to license these solutions and to secure them also. Like most Microsoft Fundamentals exams, the exam has 40 to 60 questions and the pass mark is a 700 over 1000. When I took the exam, I scored 784 over 1000, which again, it's not an amazing score, but like I always say, as long as you get over 700, you pass just as well as someone who got a thousand over a thousand. So if you're about to take this exam, there's two main things you'll need. You'll need one course and at least one practice test or mock exam. Unless you've been working in 365 for a while, you should need a course and some questions to help you prepare for the exam. In this video, I'll be showing you which courses and questions that I use. Um, and hopefully that can help you if you're looking to take the exam soon. So a bit about my experience taking the exam recently. I took the MS 900 because um, it was very in line with what I do and what I work with. Um, I am a cloud security engineer and the work I do involves a lot of 365 stuff. But having this foundational cert will definitely help me with my job and a lot of the stuff in there I had already known because this is stuff I've been working with the past I don't know year or so funny story when I booked the exam I had actually booked it on a date which I had plans and I decided really late that I wanted to move the exam to a different date because I had plans on that day unfortunately you must move the exam at least 24 hours before the exam is due to take place and I didn't know that and I tried to do it like 20 hours before the exam was going to take place and I couldn't. So I had to cancel all my plans to take this exam. I had to speed up my um, revision process and revise and study really quickly in order to be ready to take the exam. And that's probably why I didn't do as well as I would expect. Um, I didn't really get to go through all the courses. Um, I just really rushed things and did the questions and took the exam with the time I could. Luckily, I still passed with a okay score of 784 over 1000. And I'm glad that despite my lack of preparation, I was still able to pass. So please don't be like me. If you're gonna take the exam, make sure you book it on a day you're available and make sure that if you wanna reschedule the exam, you do so more than 24 hours before. Because if you do it less than 24 hours before, they will not let you move it. And you'll either have to take the exam on as prepared as you are, or you're gonna to have to forfeit the money that you've paid for the exam. So without further ado, let me mention the resources that I use to prepare for the exam and hopefully you guys could use these same resources if you want to and they can help you pass the exam as well. For this exam, with the limited time I had, I definitely went back to the basics and the easiest and quickest way to get through the exam. Um, and first of all, I started by going through most of John Savile's um, study cram for the MS 900. And if you're an Azure or a Microsoft guy, you know that John Savile is that guy when it comes to preparation for any Microsoft certification. He's got most of them on his channel. So check that out for the MS 900. And if you're doing any other certification in Azure or Microsoft or anything like that, John Savile will most likely have a study cram or a study guide on how to pass the exam. Now for me, this study cram was the complete package in terms of a course, but it's not for everyone. Some people would prefer having longer courses that go through more in depth. This is more of a quick two hour course that can sort of help you in preparation for the exam last minute. Or if you already work in this area or understand 365 very well, then you can go through this very quick course and easily pass the exam. But if you're new to this sort of thing and you haven't gone through and you haven't learned already, uh, a bit of Microsoft 365 or haven't worked with it or used it, then definitely go for a longer course and use this as sort of a quick study before the exam. Now, the second resource I use, which I'm sure most of you will use if you're going to take this exam, 
is the Microsoft Learn website. Of course, if you're taking the exam soon, you'll need to go through the Microsoft Learn website. It's really good, really helpful. It gives you all the content you need to pass, but sometimes it can be difficult to know which parts are gonna come out in the exams. And that's where John Savile and other courses help you. They will stress the things that will come out in the exam. Whereas Microsoft Learn will show you more of a general outlook on what is gonna be in the MS-900. Nonetheless, it's still really good and it also provides some questions along with the content and a summary. Um, when you go through one of the modules, at the end, there'll be a few questions to test that you've been going through and actually picking up the knowledge rather than just reading through things. So I'll be leaving links to John Savile's course as well as Microsoft Learn in the description for this video. So if you need to take the exam or study, start studying for the exam, please go to the link in the description and you'll be able to find these exam preparation tools and use them yourself to pass the MS-900 and other exams also. Now, once you've gone through your courses and you're looking to take some practice questions or some mock exams to use, which are similar to the questions that are gonna be on the MS-900, the next thing you wanna do is go to the Microsoft website. It's also a Microsoft Learn they give you a test of about 50 questions that you can go through and they will likely be very similar to what comes out on the exam. I will leave a link to these questions also in the description for this video. So please check that out. This is completely free. All you've got to do is sign up and have a Microsoft account and you can access these for free. Now, if you've gone through those questions and you still don't feel ready for the exam, then you have the option of going and paying for courses on Udemy or Coursera, they can provide you with some really good past questions, which will also be similar to what's likely to come out on the MS-900. I'll leave some links to the Udemy site and Coursera in the description also. And if you wanna take those paid practice questions, then you can go ahead and do that if that's gonna help you prepare for the exam even more. I personally didn't use any paid resources to pass this exam, but it was very helpful to know that if I did need further questions, I could quickly pay for some and they would be really helpful for me. That is another video in the books. I made a post on LinkedIn about how I passed this exam and a lot of you liked it, so thank you for doing that. For those who are not subscribed, please do subscribe to the video. I make a lot of content on cloud computing and cybersecurity and these could be really helpful if you're pursuing a career in that area or you already work in that area and wanna follow along with my career could help you also and I could also learn from you. Be sure to check out some of my other videos. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on LinkedIn to see the posts and what's going on in my career and remember to like and comment on this video. I'll see you guys in the next video.